Okay, let's check in with Paul. And Paul, first day of summer, mm -hmm. looking pretty good. Yeah, the beard can't be terribly comfortable on the first day of summer. I mean, with the birds living in it and whatnot. Doesn't I mean, matter. Bringing additional twigs for their, their nest. Here's a look outside as we look from the Mark Hopkins Hotel. What to expect as we head through the next several days? Low cloud cover and fog with some coastal drizzle. The June gloom, you can see it in the background. It's back. It's going to spread back out across the bay and into the inland valleys. Much cooler tomorrow. A cool couple of first full days of summertime, Thursday and Friday. A slow warming trend. We'll start on Friday, but it's going to be very gradual as we head through next week. High temperatures remaining below normal for the foreseeable future in the seven day forecast. And even the six to 10 day outlook continues this below average temperature trend right on through the end of the month. However, if you're looking for an actual summertime feel to the atmosphere, we actually have signal towards above normal temperatures a little farther down the line. The 8 to 14 day outlook takes us through the 4th of July holiday. There's a chance it might actually, you know, feel like early July. No extreme heat in sight, but just a return to temperatures that are more typical for early summer. Right now, let's take a look at those high temperatures from today. Made it up into the low 80s in Santa Rosa and Concord. It's warm, but still slightly below normal. Other temperatures in the 60s and 70s, even 59 degrees for a high temperature in Pacifica this afternoon. Let's check out Futurecast, and the fog is really going to spread out. The brighter white indicates the banks of fog. The duller gray is that low cloud cover that is going to move across the entire Bay Area to begin the day. Some drizzle along the coast could register as a couple hundredths of an inch of moisture. It's not actual rain, but just enough to maybe make you fiddle with the windshield wipers if you're going to be driving along the coast early tomorrow morning. That backs up towards the coast as we head towards midday, but I think you're going to see gray skies along the coast as we head through the next couple of days. A little sunshine maybe glimmering through as we head into the weekend. Temperatures tonight dropping down mostly to the low to mid 50s. Some of the coolest spots in the North Bay Valley is dipping down into the upper 40s. We're going to warm up tomorrow very gradually, especially near the water. San Francisco is just going to barely crack 60 degrees for an afternoon high. That's unusually cool, even for San Francisco, the first full day of summer. A little bit of sunshine peeking through, but there's that 10% chance of a little bit of drizzle throughout the day. Temperatures are going to be a little warmer as we look farther inland, but not much. Only upper 60s for highs in Santa Rosa, and most inland parts of the North Bay are going to stay below 70, right at 70 for high temperature in Concord, and just barely into the low 70s for high in San Jose. All these inland numbers, about 10 to 15 degrees below normal, about 5 to 10 degrees below average around the bay and along the coast. If you're going to be heading out to Stern Grove this Sunday, temperatures, well, they'll be slightly warmer than where we top out tomorrow, but only by a couple of degrees. The June gloom around midday will give way to more of a mix of clouds and sunshine during the afternoon before the breeze picks back up, even making its way down into the grove. Not as windy as the conditions we had last weekend, though. Temperatures will very slowly warm up over the course of the next seven days. A degree or so every other day puts us up to the mid 60s in San Francisco next Wednesday, back up to around 70 degrees in Oakland, closer to normal for late June, near 80 degrees for inland parts of the Bay Area, but that's a week away. It is the very tail end of the seven-day forecast that we finally start to approach normal high temperatures. A little bit of that drizzle right along the coast. A lot of cloud cover Friday. You might see some sunshine peeking through the clouds on Saturday. I know Liz is oh so excited for that. All right. Thanks, Paul.